Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. And as we head into 2023, you might wonder how can I heal myself this year? How do I actually do it? And so these are the things I think that you should put at the top of the, your list. These are definitely the things that I am putting at the top of my list. And these are the New Year's resolutions. So normally, as we head into a new year, we may get really gung-ho with healing resolutions, all the things we're going to do. And I'd suggest you not doing that this year. I would suggest that this year, 2023, is the year to regulate your nervous system. And that begins with New Year's. If you have a whole bunch of really um, stressful New Year's resolutions that you wanna make, it can often put us in a heightened state of stress. So pare it down very simple. Eat a good diet of whole natural foods. Get good sleep, be in bed, in the nines, right? Prioritize your sleep. Even if you can't sleep, even if you have insomnia, go to bed, rest, meditate, do what you can to get good sleep. So sleep well, eat well, move well. I don't want you to put, you know, all these exercise goals on your list this year, but getting out and moving, moving your body, walking, gentle stretching, whatever it might be to move your body and engage your body. Just a gentle goal every day. It doesn't have to be hard exercise, very gentle exercise, gentle movement each day. Okay, and then I wanna give you, so that's it. That's basically it. Movement, sleep, eat well. And overall, your umbrella is to regulate your nervous system. So to stay calm. Now, how are we going to do that in 2023? How are we gonna regulate a dysregulated nervous system so that it's calm? I'm gonna give you the three L's of healing a dysregulated nervous system. The three L's of basically healing anything, whether it's mental or physical, okay? And it goes like this. The three L's are listen, love, and live. So let's break those down. Listen. Listen means listen to your body. As if a good friend was just telling you a story that they didn't want you to fix, they didn't need you to solve, they just wanted you to listen to them. Your only job was to sit and just listen and be there. Listen to your body. You don't need to fix it. Resist any urge to fix it or solve it, or tell it what to do, or reject it. You're just a good friend. You're listening to everything, every emotion, every symptom, every sensation that you will allow. Listening is like allowing, allowing it all, allowing it to be there, not pushing it away, not rejecting it, not trying to fix it or solve it just allowing, right? So that's the first L, listen. It's listen, listen to your body, listen to your emotions, listen to them and allow them to their fullest. Just allow them to be there, sit. It's almost like a somatic tracking, right? So getting very good at just allowing what is to be. Love, love is love. Love is all about loving yourself. How are you showing yourself love in each moment? So you can ask yourself that a hundred times a day. How can I show myself love in this moment? How can I show myself more love in this moment? Whether you're folding laundry, whether you're doing dishes, whether you're out for a walk, whether you're, you know, having a conversation with another human being, whether you're checking email, how can I love myself more fully right now? How can I show myself love? It might be 
taking a deep breath. It might be slowing down. It might be doing something comforting for yourself, feeding yourself, having a little break. It could be any kind of self-care. So love is all about self-care. How can I care for myself more in this moment? How can I show myself a little more love in this moment? How can I just fully embrace and love myself, give myself love and compassion and kindness how can I love others more? How can I love the world more? Right? It's about love. It's about coming at everything from love and treating yourself with such kindness, compassion, love. Maybe you need an embrace. Maybe you need to slow down. Whatever it is, you should be asking yourself this question throughout your day. You know, every 10, 15 minutes, whatever you're engaged in, how can I love myself more? How can I show myself more compassion? How can I give myself more self-care right now in this moment? So that is the second one. And the third one is live. Just living your life. Live your life. Engage with your life, with your family, with interests, with things that are fun, with the people that you love, with the activities that you need to do, with the you know, tasks that must get done and the things that you want to try with just living instead of being so preoccupied with healing. Just live, allow yourself to live, go for a walk, you know, live, just try to be in the moment. Living means participating and engaging in the moment in front of you with community, with friends, with interest, with love, with joy instead of fixation on healing, instead of a fixation and a really focused gaze on your symptoms, on your health. So it's a more broad, how can I just live? How could I live if I was healed? What would I do if I was healed? And then you may not be up for doing all of that. So again, it comes right back around to the beginning. Listen, how can I listen? Listening to your body, listening to your symptoms, not trying to fix, not trying to reject, just being there, allowing, loving yourself in the moment, giving yourself kindness, compassion, self-care, and then returning back to living, to life. So this is a circular thing that you need to do. And this is how we regulate a dysregulated nervous system. So let's just have a quick review. Goals, New Year's goals for healing in 2023 is very inexpensive. It costs no money. It costs patience, kindness, love, and the ability to allow. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get good sleep, gentle movement, right? We're going to have a good diet. And then we're going to practice the three L's to regulate our nervous system. We're going to listen and allow. We're going to love and give ourselves compassion and self-care. And we're going to live in the moment. We're going to try to just be part of life again, get back to life and living. So I know this may not be the way you want to head into the new year. When we have chronic illness, every milestone is you know, tough. It's tough to head into something. And we have, we do have big goals. We wanna heal everything. But this is really pulling back, scaling back. It's not about the money you spend. It's not about the supplements you take. Sure, you can do these little things if it's with a listening attitude, a loving, kind, compassion way of being and just relating to life, your own body. So I hope this is helpful. I hope that you go into 2023 gently like a lamb, not like a lion, very gently. And I hope that you put some focus on regulating your nervous system, really trying to stay calm, really trying to engage, really trying to regulate the autonomic nervous system that is not functioning properly. And that has you in these patterns and these loops that are driving a fight or flight system that's not allowing you to heal. 
So no matter what your symptoms, no matter what your illness, please know that this video will help you. This video is for you, it's for me, it's for all of us. So the very basics of physical health and then the three L's of regulating that autonomic nervous system, which in essence gets you out of the way so that your body can heal itself, which is really truly what does happen. You don't push to heal yourself. Your body heals itself when it feels safe, relaxed, confident, understood, and loved. So I'm wishing everybody out there a gentle 2023, the belief that you are safe and the knowing that you are deeply, deeply loved.